just came up with the conquistadors or early Mesoamerica trading. So the, the big the big establishment of the Nicotiana Glaca pretty much started arriving in the 1500s and 1600s with the conquistadors. They brought this up in abundance. There's most likely it was already here uh, and came up with the Mesoamerican trade with parrot feathers and seashells and and uh, between um, you know. Uh, between Central America, Mesoamerica, and like the Hohokam outside of Phoenix or, or Casas Grande, or um, so it was probably already here, but it definitely was not abundant, definitely didn't spread. And of all the tobaccos, it is the great one topically, it's the real serious medicine one topically. We, uh, what I would do is, uh, you know, in the case of this, well, I've got clippers. It also responds really well to just a knife and uh, you know, a, a big, a big tobacco tree like this. You can take two or three, easily two or three side branches without. I mean, this one is a weed basically, and I mean, you could literally break the entire branch off, and it's going to grow back, and it's going to grow back with more shoots. But in the case of uh, It breaks really easy, and uh, you know you would collect sections like this, but you don't really need want need or want large branches because you're really after the leaf and the flowers, and uh, this is what you're going to dry for medicine is the aerial part, and maybe you want you can use a little bit of the stems of the of the end pieces, but mostly the bigger woody stems you'll just discard and. Uh, so this one is a very sustainable plant. Uh, you're just doing a little light pruning, a little breaking off. I mean, you theoretically could also just kind of like, small. you could get smaller bits like this, because this is really what you're after as a medicine for drying. And, uh, and once you have it dried, you can do a dry plant extract uh, if you want. But I mostly dry this for salves and oils. And, uh, you know, you doing a one to five ratio. Um, and for one of our finest analgesic pain medicines, for one of the uh, very adequate topical anti-inflammatories. So it reduces inflammation and minimizes pain, especially pain upon movement. Uh, far superior, I mean, to like Arnica, which is like classically we use Arnica the description for using arnica flower oil or arnica flower tincture topic is pain upon movement and and it's adequate it works well i mean arnica i'm not belittling arnica at all but if you wanted something that was two or three times stronger than your average arnica salve or your av average arnica liniment uh wild tobacco any of the tobaccos for that matter but this one especially might be two or three times stronger than an arnica salve or an arnica liniment so um, that's my predominant use for it is, is uh, you know, in the traditional uh, Romedios, in the traditional Hispanic tradition, you know, they often would make a tea of this or I take a handful of the dry leaves and throw it in a bath for arthritic joints, for pain, for, uh, you know, people whose joints were old and crackly and filled with <laughs> lots of inf inflammation and pain. Um, so that it has a history of being used in baths, being used in salves, in uh, liniments, an, an ancient old history of dry tobacco being mixed in with sheep tallow or lard, you know, for like, um, for veterinarian uh, application, for veterinarian salve, for older animals who have lameness, lameness in their legs or in their, in their extremities, you know, like old horses or old dogs who uh, very safe to use, you know. Uh, I sometimes vacillate between making a liniment or a oil, or a liniment and an oil and or, or a salve. I mean, uh, sometimes liniments, a tobacco liniment, topically is instantaneous pain relief, whereas the oil or salve is going to be a little bit slower, you know. And if you wanted to make a really cheap, really uh, quick, effective uh, liniment that wasn't super alcohol-laden, 
this is a great time to use one of those vodkas, one of those cheap vodkas uh, that has 40% alcohol, 50% alcohol in it at the most. You take, you take say like uh, one ounce of dry tobacco leaf and flowers, crush them up, get them really small, and put them in five ounces of vodka and let it steep for a week to 10 days and you're good to go. You've got a liniment now. You strain it out and now you can apply that anytime you have pain upon movement or you've got arthritic pain or you've got um, a little bit too much inflammation. It also really makes a nice medicine to dab on that liniment and or oil or salve that's made from this tobacco on bee stings, wasp stings, uh, spider bites, things that are venomous -y, swol swollen up and filled with lots of inflammation. A very practical, I mean, this is a great plant to match, uh, this is a great plant to match a lot of human ailments of pain and inflammation. If you had some serious arthritic inflammation, um, you know, you'd, you'd sit there and sip on a cup of yerba manza tea or take some of the yerba manza extract and you'd rub some of the tobacco on topically and I would guarantee you within 30 minutes you've got at least 50% reduction of pain and inflammation taken. You'll feel it, is what I'm saying, really quickly. If you put this on topically and then sit there and, and uh, drink some manza leaf tea or take 20-30 drops of yerba manza internally. That's a nice uh, marriage of a plant internally for safe use, the yerba manza, and a nice use of this plant topically for arthritic pains. For um, you know, it, it's a nice combination for people who have had knee surgery uh, or knee replacements or hip replacements. Um, you know, tobacco topically is a great ally for that type of uh, recovery from uh, surgery on the joints, torn ligaments sprains and, and um, uh, dislocated shoulders, connective tissue kind of uh, stresses and rips and tears. It's nice to find herbs that work topically to reduce the pain so that every time you move you're just not as, you know, pain wears you out. Pain just fatigues you. Pain eventually, if it's chronic, slows down your immune system and mentally, mentally wreaks havoc for you, you know, so it's nice to have medicines that diminish the pain